right, y'all, let's get to this chia seed pudding. Chia seed pudding is so delicious. It is absolutely one of my favorite breakfasts. It's perfect. I love to eat it topped with some fresh fruit, some honey, some granola, however you want to top it, some cacao. I love cacao nibs. Um, I love to put sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. It's just so good. It's a very light, healthy, and fulfilling breakfast. So when I don't have some good yogurt on hand, then I'll make chia seed pudding. It's super simple. Um, the measurements depends on the type of chia seeds you're using and the type of milk you're using. Um, in this recipe, I'll be using almond milk. That is the milk that I drink. I'm sure it works with oat milk and other plant-based milk, but all almond milk and all oat milk is not created equal. So it also depends on the consistency of how much you're going to need when it comes to the chia seeds. So anyway, let's get to the point. So, so we're going to start with one and a half cups of almond milk. Um, in case you're wondering what kind of almond milk I use, I use the HEB Organics Unsweetened Almond Milk. So we're going to use one and a half cups of almond milk. Half a cup of chia seeds. So I have some chia seeds here. I'm going to go ahead and measure them out. Half a cup. Now with the chia seeds, in case you didn't know, um, you can also use ground chia seeds. So if you're going to use ground chia seeds, chia seed meal, then use a third to a fourth a cup of chia seeds. Start with less and then check, check out the texture later and add more if you need to. But right now, all I have is whole chia seeds. Um, if you do your research, then you'll see what I mean, the difference between whole chia seeds and ground chia seeds and how your body um, responds to them and absorbs them. So um, usually I use milled chia seeds, the ground chia seeds, but I don't have any right now, I only have whole. So for whole chia seeds, you have to use half a cup. For ground chia seeds or chia seed meal, use a third to a fourth a cup. So we're gonna throw in half a cup of chia, whole chia seeds. And then I also like to throw in just a sprinkle of cinnamon. I have some ground Saigon cinnamon right here, just a sprinkle. Like I don't want it to taste like cinnamon, but it just gives it just a little bit of flair and then a little bit of ground up egg. Just a little, just a dash. And then another thing I like to throw in is some vanilla right here. I have some pure uh, Madagascar. I'm sorry, the light is horrible, but this is pure Madagascar organic vanilla. All right, so I usually just do like a, a cap full of that. And that's gonna give it a little vanilla flavor. And then you literally just mix it up, stir it up. So we're going to stir this up. You can use a whisk. You can use a fork. I'm just going to use a fork. And you're just going to get this stirred up as best as you can. All right, once you feel like you got it stirred up good enough, you just want to get it evenly distributed. That's all. Just get it mixed around in there. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your top and you're gonna put your top on it. Um, you could also do it in a mason jar. I've done it in a mason jar before. This amount is actually gonna do about two servings of the chia seed pudding. So this will last me for two days. It's not ready to eat yet. You wanna put it in the refrigerator overnight. Um, check it overnight and see how the texture is. Again, chia seed pudding is one of those things where it's based on the type of milk you're using, the type of chia seeds you're using, and then the type of texture that you prefer. If you prefer it a little more liquidy, a little more solid, you can always add more chia seeds and let it sit in the refrigerator for a few more hours. But for now, we're just gonna put it in the refrigerator, let it sit overnight. I'm gonna check it um, tomorrow and see what I think. If I feel like it's a little too watery, then I'll add more chia seeds and let it sit. So we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. When it's time to check it out, uh, take it out, I'll go ahead and come back to you and we'll go ahead and make our chia seed bowl. All right, so here is the texture of the pudding. As you can see, this is the perfect texture for me. I love it being thick like this. Um, like I said yesterday, if you don't, if you want the texture to be thinner, then you'll know next time to add less chia seeds. So if for some reason you want it thicker than this, then um, you can add more chia seeds. But I just, I love this texture. I think it's perfect. So. I think it's perfect, all right? So let's go ahead and create our chia seed pudding. All right, so now it's time to put together the chia seed pudding. So you're gonna go ahead, grab your bowl. You can use a small bowl or you can use a bigger bowl. Today I'm using a smaller bowl. I'm just gonna go ahead, 
You can put some fruit at the bottom if you want. Sometimes I'll put the fruit at the bottom. But today I'm just gonna keep it simple. And like I said, this will give you two servings, two good servings. You can put it in a mason jar if you want. You can get creative, make it cute, whatever you wanna do. So, all right, so we're gonna do that. And then you're gonna put whatever you want. So usually I like to start with hemp seeds on mine. Another thing I like to do is I love cacao. So I like to put cacao at the bottom and the top. So I'm gonna take these cacao nibs that I have here and pour some at the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some honey. Now you don't have to, especially if you're like super strict vegan and don't wanna use honey and all that stuff, you don't have to. Um, but I love to add a little sweetness if it comes out. It's been, this bottle has been freezing up on me lately. Oh, something up with this, with this bottle. It's so hard to squeeze. Oh, I think I need to like put it in some warm water or something. Cause it didn't come out cute at all. Anyway, so now I'm going to add some raspberries. I don't usually use, I'm not a, a big raspberry girl, but I was trying to switch it up. So I'm just gonna throw some raspberries on there. I have a strawberry. I'm only using one strawberry because I am going to add strawberries on the one I'm gonna eat tomorrow. And I really wanted to use my raspberries before they get old, so. Um, you know what, I'm actually gonna grab another strawberry so I can put a strawberry on top. And then I have some mango here that I chopped up. So I'm gonna throw some mango there. And then what I like to do is add some granola. So this is my homemade granola. It is so delicious. It is so easy to make. I do plan on putting the recipe up on YouTube because it's been a game changer for me. I haven't bought granola since I've learned how to make it. It's so good. Um, It's so good, so simple. It's so simple. So I'll put that recipe up for you guys one of these days soon. Another thing I like to add is some roasted uh, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. I did buy them raw and roasted them myself. So if you would like for me to show you that video, please let me know because I did soak them first. But let me know and I'll go ahead and post that as well. So I like to add these. I do season these. Um, uh, with Cajun seasoning. So it just kind of gives me a little a savory balance to this sweet bowl. And then what I like to do is add more cacao nibs because I love cacao, like I said. So I like to add more cacao nibs. If you can't tell, I'm a huge chocolate lover and cacao nibs are good when you're eating vegan and plant-based to give you that chocolate fix. I don't know what it is. When you eat them by yourself, they're not that great. So for some reason, when you throw them on top of this bowl, they taste like chocolatey goodness. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is add the rest of my fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and put some strawberries back on there. Did I say strawberries? Raspberries. I'm going to put raspberries back on there so I can use them. Then I'm going to top it off with my mango. One of my favorite fruits, by the way. I love mango. Love it, love it, love it. All right. And there you have it. The Chia Seed Bowl. Delicious feeling breakfast. Mm -hmm.